different people coming to see me, what I needed. And it gave me confidence that there is some good in this world. If you become disconnected and feel lonely and isolated, it's very difficult to look after yourself as well. When you get older, your whole life changes. Your children have grown up and gone, and I can't expect any person to keep coming here when they've got their own lives to be leading. I don't think anybody can explain what the loneliness is like. Oh. 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 I was in a terrible state. I knew that if I didn't get somebody here to see me, that I would die. So it's treating them with kindness and compassion and listening to their story and understanding where they are in their life and what needs to happen next to make that better. Right, how are you? Very well. Thank you. Yeah. You were saying that you felt quite isolated? Yes, I did. But coming to the club, we got into a little circle of friends and we all got to know each other and it was nice seeing each other. We always give them, I always carry some brochures with me and I can give them the brochures. And when they get a hold of the health centre, the health connecting, then they're able to point them in the right direction. We can just help people to get in touch with the support that's out there. There is so much support. And just to help people not feel sort of isolated, really. We've got that 500 people who on average will talk to 20 people a year. That's 10,000 people put in touch with those resources. They phoned up one day and they said they'd got this male that would come to see me and that was the best thing that ever happened and I can't sort of, well, I can't tell people what a difference he's made coming. For every one pound that's spent on this scheme, the NHS is saving six pounds. The joy of this project is that you see the huge impact it can have on individuals, turning their lives around, being given back a sense of being part of a community again. <laughs>